Hey everybody at IPMI, my name is Drew Dudley and I'm going to be giving one of the keynotes at your virtual summit in early June. You know, I, I'm so excited to be a part of this. It's not the ideal situation we were all hoping for. And I, one of the things I've been struggling with personally through all of what's going on is it's really easy to feel as if that we are absolutely powerless in all of this. And what I've been trying to focus on, and this is what a lot of my work focuses around, is where real power does lie. And ultimately, we keep looking at the collective and how all like we're all going to get through this together. And that's true. But I think the more we focus on the collective, the less we focus on the power that we individually have. And what I talk about in my work when it comes to leadership is recognizing that leadership exists in these interpersonal moments of impact. And what I mean by that is that when I talk about moments of leadership, I'm talking about moments of compassion, moments of kindness, moments of forgiveness. And the reason that I think it's so important we recognize that those are leadership is because they are the most powerful weapons that we have to have an impact on a daily basis. And I think what's so important about them is that they're pretty much the only sources of power on this planet where there's not systematic barriers between that power and most of us in the world. Almost all sources of power on earth are not available to most of us. And we're all being reminded of what we can't control right now. But moments of impact, moments of kindness, moments of empathy, these we are in control of. And they're the most powerful things that we do. And they mean that no matter what's going on in the world, we are not powerless. Because no matter what's going on, even from where we are, even when we're inside our homes, we still have the opportunity to reach out to individuals and let them know that they've had an impact on us in the process, we have an impact on them. Because what's happening right now is we're being reminded that our collective connection, not only can it spread things that we have to be afraid of, what it can also do is spread positive things. And it can spread moments of power. It can spread moments of kindness. It can spread moments of recognition. And I think that what I want to talk about in my keynote is how we can consciously do that. Because I think it's one thing to say, okay, we're going to redefine what leadership means. It's an entirely different one to talk about how we go about doing it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share the step-by-step -step process that we developed at the University of Toronto to try to close the gap between the people that we want to be and how we're actually behaving and how to remind ourselves that there's a whole lot of power we have within us every single day, but we do have to take certain steps to remind ourselves of that. I'm so looking forward to the virtual summit. I, I can't wait to share some of these ideas with you. Being able to share new ideas about leadership is what is keeping me motivated and inspired through all of this. And I'm hoping that some of the ideas I share are going to do the same for you. I'm so looking forward to June, my friends, and I'll see you there.